Hello everybody, welcome to episode 65 of Life on Tap, a multimedia experience now from the heart of NYC. Um, hope everyone's doing really well out there. Once again, I apologize for being a little behind the ball with uh, content and whatnot. It's been a little crazy with uh, upcoming midterms. I have a, a couple presentations these past couple weeks, and of course, um, you know, my recovery is progressing. I'm feeling much, much better. Um, my snoring isn't as good as I wanted it to be, but you know, it is what it is. What can I say? But uh, we are now back on the ball. I have some. I ha I did. I have received an offer for an internship. So, yay! Um, and I'm not. It was just been very pumped up about. Um, I'm hoping to wait. I'm waited out another day or so to see if I get any other offers or whatnot from a couple of places. But uh, we'll see how that works out. But in the meantime, we, it's time to go back to the beer. So, in kind of in celebration of you know, coming you know done coming d done with all my surger surgeries and, and and dental work and whatnot i was really hoping to you know kind of almost you know, celebrate so uh as a result i happen to be by my local uh supermarket and i happen to find a six of the uh sierra nevada 2009 celebration ale um and i didn't look up i know that they have a a, a coding system where you can find out when it was produced and when i didn't bother to go online and look at that but you know uh, uh, it is an, it is an IPA style so I'm still hoping it's still fresh enough here so we'll, we'll have to take we'll have to take a peek and see how that works out all right all right nice orange almost borderline almost copper color got a nice head on that one so thanks to my uh um, less than uh, expert pour. So uh, on the nose, basically, it's major. It's a major. It's a major citrus play around here. Like kind of a little bit of a pineiness as well, grapefruit pineiness, and, and and that's going to come from the the way the the hops are used in, in this. So. Um, reading off, reading off here, it comes in 6.8 ABV. Um, they, uh, it's 65 IBUs. Um, bittering hops, Chinook, and the finishing hops and dry hops are both Cascade and Centennial, which is really bringing that piney grapefruit citrus element to it, definitely. And they use a two-row English caramel malt, bringing in obviously that nice caramel, you know, orange copper color to that. So, um, you know, uh, you know the west coast ipa style dry hop you know usually i like them and you know i actually let off tonight i uh, had a great i went to a great uh, networking event um through school or whatnot so uh, i let off with a sierra nevada there so it kind of almost plays into my whole sierra nevada night here as you can see so let's give this thing a shot Mm, wow. The 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 bitterness on the back is nice, but the the finish is remarkably smooth despite the level of dry hopping that goes into this. And the whole beer is incredibly balanced. I mean, I'm sure you still see this. This is like I mean, if you look at this foam here, it's like it's sick. It it, it literally it literally looks like a meringue. It's it, it's amazing. I mean, I I I I'm 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 loved looking at this foam here, but um, the, I mean the beer itself incredibly tasty, well balanced. Um, I'm getting a lot of this. Uh, I do get a I do get a hint of the kind of the the, the pale ale essence from you know your your tried and true Sierra Nevada pale um, on the bottom of this basically. But you know I think that you know. Um, you know, at 65 IB, at 65 IBUs, it's, I think it's still an accessible IPA, even if, you know non-IPA drinkers. Although you know, I mean, dry hop ales are not as accessible, I guess, to the, to the malt to the malt maniacs as they as they might be referenced. But you know, I'm definitely enjoying this. I, I have another five more in the bunch. I will definitely be looking forward to partaking or sharing it with those at whenever I can. And um, I got uh, another IPA coming up for the for the next episode, but uh, uh, an, an IPA I know and well and love, but I haven't had a chance to review on the show, so I can't wait to bring that to you next week. But uh, in the meantime, joining in touch with us, it's www.lifeontap.net. 
email us at lifeontap.net. Life you can reach me out there on Twitterverse and the Skype first. I am Newtype2001. And on Facebook, I am Facebook.com slash Newtype2001 as well. And um, my spring break's coming up. Passover's coming up. So I will have to give up my my uh, savory booze and also grain-based alcohol or whatnot. But, you know, I'll hopefully what I'll do is maybe I can post a couple um, court reviews of some of kosher wine I hope to be trying during the break or retrying during the break or whatnot as well and uh, I'll hopefully be able to push out some more content to you, content out to you afterwards and whatnot. So uh, overall, yeah, remember one thing, let's tap, drink up till it's dry. <laughs>